about a year or so ago, Jim and I watched a streaming TV series called A League of Their Own. And it was really excellent. It was based on the movie, A League of Their Own, which was also fantastic. Very popular back in the 1990s. I think it was 1992. And the series was all about the Rockford Peaches, and the all-female professional baseball players on the Rockford Peaches way back in the day. And we've been waiting for quite a long time for season two. And then at one point we heard that they were only going to be renewing it for four episodes. I guess it wasn't very popular. And, and then a few months after that, we heard that they weren't renewing it at all. Which is too bad because it was really well done. And a bit of a surprise since the movie was so popular. And just on a personal level, I was interested because three of the female baseball players are laid to rest right here in Palm Springs. Well, the Palm Springs area. They're actually laid to rest at Forest Lawn in Cathedral City, which is right next door to Palm Springs. And some of you may remember, if you watch my other channel, the Graveyard Channel, that I visited two of their grave sites, actually their niches. They were cremated and inured in a cremation niche. And then about a year after that, I think it was my friend Craig who contacted me to let me know that another one of them had also been buried here or laid to rest. She wasn't cremated. She's in a larger full-size niche. So I thought I'd come down today and show you all three. Now, the first two were partners, life partners. They were lesbians. They were in a relationship for decades. And they're laid to rest here together forever. The most recent one, I can't find any information about if she was ever married. There's no information on her Wikipedia page or on her Find a Grave Memorial page. So I don't know if she was a member of the LGBTQ plus community or not. Not that it matters, but I'm guessing they must have all three been friends. They were all on the same leagues. They all played baseball together at the same time. I believe all three of them were in the movie, had cameos in the movie. And two of the characters in the movie were based on two of them. I'm not sure about the third. But they're all three laid here, laid to rest here. One died in Rancher Barrage, which is just like a block from here. And the other two, the, the couple, they died in Palm Desert, which again is just five, ten minutes from here. So I'm sure they must have all known each other. They were probably all friends. And it's just fun to know that in their retirement, they all moved here to Palm Springs, to the Palm Springs area. And this is where they chose to be laid to rest. And as I was saying in another video, <laughs> about gay couples, LGBTQ plus couples being laid to rest together, how it's kind of a newer phenomenon, not something that we've seen in the past. It's something now that's much more common, especially in the last 10 years or so. There have been a couple before that, but very few that I'm aware of. But just in this cemetery alone, here at Forest Lawn Cathedral City, there are a number of couples right here in this niche wall, right next to these Rockford beaches. So it's kind of fun. And these are just a few. I mean, there's quite a, there are quite a few more here in this cemetery. It's also nice to know that all three women live very long lives. Marge Wenzel lived to be 80 years old. Dottie Kamenchak lived to the age of 84. And Shirley Berkovic lived to be 89 years old. So did you also watch the series? Did you watch the movie? Such a classic. So many great lines. So funny. So interesting. So historic. And did you happen to know any of these three women? If so, please feel free to share any personal stories about them that you'd like in the comments section. It's always nice to know a little bit more personal information when I visit these grave sites. That's one of the fun things about the comments. Quite often, many of you have personal stories to share about the grave sites that I visit. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.